and starting in five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to Queer Network News. My name is Justin Gerhardt. Our dear friend Riyad Khalif just released his latest documentary called Fighting for Pride, in which he captures the first ever Swaziland Pride, all made possible through YouTube's Creators for Change program. We caught up with Riyad at Buffer Festival earlier this year to talk more about this life-changing experience. Click on the link in the description to watch the full documentary now on Riyadh's YouTube page. Longtime member and ally to the queer community, Miley Cyrus and gorgeous husband, Liam Hemsworth, donated $500,000 to the Malibu Foundation after losing their own home in wildfires in California last week. Click on the link in the description to see a list of charities you can donate to in order to help those affected by the fires. <laughs> Victoria's Secret exec Ed Razik apologized on Twitter finally for his outdated and careless remarks towards the trans community when they asked why they've never cast any transgender women in the show before. Victoria's Secret model Kendall Jenner was among the many celebrities who took to social media to show her support for the trans community by sharing a picture of a button that read celebrities, no that's not what it said, that read celebrate trans women. Which I think is amazing. Way to go, Kendall. I see you, boy. All right, Aaron Porter, who I'm sure you've never heard before, because I didn't know him before this. He is from England, and he is an R&B singer, and he is the new queer pop star to look out for with the release of his new single, Boy, in which he deals with issues of femme shaming, toxic masculinity, and what he thinks it means to be straight. I wanna be myself for you Porter says he wrote this song after refusing to be straight acting to appeal to another guy. The last tidbit, Celine Dion, my idol, is about to disrupt binary gender with a new unisex line of clothing for babies and kids called Celine New 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 in a partnership with kids fashion brand New New New. How ironic. This new style liberates children from the traditional roles of boy or girl by using more neutral colors, and because it's Celine Dion, a lot of glitter. Celine believes this will enable younger people to develop and thrive on values of equality and freedom and mutual respect. All right, that's all for this week. Thanks so much for watching. Come back on Wednesday for a new episode of Queer from the Couch featuring Ryan from Northbound Leather to break down some stereotypes about the leather community and how Northbound has a little something for everyone, regardless of sexuality. And if you don't live in Toronto, check them out online at northbound.com. Make sure you like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you stay up to date on all Queer Network news. We'll see you next week. Whatever. Like, just... Just... Let's go for it. Okay. Why not? I don't know why there's words that come out that aren't words. Okay.